A lot of people overthink the release. And the release is one of the most critical things we deal with. Uh, I always say there are three things you don't want to skimp on when it comes to archery hunting. And one is the release. You don't want to skip on that. That's part of the equation that executes the shot. So the bow, the rest, and the release are three things you never want to skimp on. We're going to talk a little bit about care and maintenance and some tricks of the trade we've learned along the way. As far as maintenance goes, these things get abused. And the number one thing every hunter does, I think, when they're in the tree and get bored is they fidget with it and the oils of your hands are getting on it. So we, we wanna make sure we clean them periodically. You can use a degreaser or anything to get all the oil off and then make sure you re-oil it because if you just hang it up, I picked, I picked releases up that have been on my bow all year and you get ready for hunting season and they're seized up and won't work at all. So make sure you take care of your release. Degrease it, re-oil it, make sure everything's going. This is a great tool right here. It's just a can of air. You know, I'm full of hot air too, but this is a can of air. But this works great from getting dust, dirt, debris out of the crevices of the releases. Just remember to always clean and re-oil and take care of your release. It'll take care of you. A couple of other things you want to look at is the wrist strap care. Uh, they come, the wrist straps actually come in two, dif two different configurations. You can get the buckle or the Velcro. Uh, I always recommend, and Travis has always recommended this also, is to go with the buckle. One, you're getting a consistent tightness every time. Is to wear Velcro, you can set it a little tight one time, not as tight the next, and you're dealing with some inconsistencies there that could affect your anchor points, your shot, everything really. Uh, another thing about the Velcro versus the buckle is, have you ever been trying to be quiet and undo Velcro? Th those two don't go hand in hand when you rip it, everything in the woods knows. So the buckles are also a little bit more quieter. Another thing I like to do is so, you know, if you're in a low light situation or whatever, uh, you know, everybody's got that set notch that works good for them. And something we do is just take a Sharpie and you can mark either side right here so that way if you're in a low light situation and can't quite see the holes good you can look right there and kind of tell you're in the right hole and everything's everything's where it needs to be that's just a little trick of the trade we picked up over the years so hope some of this helps you with release care tricks of the trade or what we do and maybe it'll help you out this hunting season